Thank you for taking the time to, to take a look at uh, the Remedy Force product today. Uh, we're going to run through just a, a couple of slides, and then we'll follow those up with uh, a live product demonstration. So if you'll bear with me here as we just go through a couple of slides. Now, the first thing I'd really like to just cover is in terms of when, you, when we talk about Remedy Force, what exactly is included with Remedy Force? Well, all of these icons and the labels, they represent uh, the different idle disciplines in the in the major feature sets of the product. So first, first being obviously the service request management uh, functionality within <clears throat> Remedy Force, allowing customers to uh, to request new services, and that's all done through a self service portal. And you'll notice the asterisk. Uh, so basically, that indicates that we've made some changes to the product uh, in the Winter 13 release. So again, self-service has certainly been a feature that, is, that has been part of Remedy Force since, since its inception. However, one of the things that we've done in, in Winter 13, or BMC did during Winter 13, was um, make it the accessibility of the product um, through the Salesforce.com interface, as well as making some configuration changes for, for those administrators. In addition to that, uh, we have the knowledge management capability of Remedy Force, and this is a true knowledge management solution. So I saw a large percentage of the customers that are in it, our participants in attendance today are from the Service Desk Express product. So this is very different than that search engine that you had with Service Desk Express. This is truly a knowledge management solution that allows you to create uh, rich text articles, define approval processes for those articles, selectively choose who can see and access those articles, those types of things. Uh, also, the service level management feature within the product. So basically, as we all know, a service level agreement is that upfront contract with your customer identifying what you're going to do and then measuring your performance against that, uh, that commitment agreement. And that's exactly what the SLA module allows us to do. Mobility access to the product through your mobile devices, and that's both for your customers as well as your technical staff. Customers can access Remedy Force through an iOS or a BlackBerry device uh, app, and uh, in addition to that, your staff also have access through BlackBerry, iOS, and Android um, applications. Um, the, the staff members, that, is, uh, that functionality is available. It is, there is a slight cost for that, but customers absolutely can uh, access the product at no additional charge by just simply downloading the app from the appropriate app store. And then uh, we have Chatter. So Chatter is one of those inherent features or uh, of the Force.com platform that Dick had mentioned earlier. And so we've extended the capability quite a bit in uh, this, this most recent release of Winter 13. Um, basically allowing individuals to uh, participate in the approval process through Chatter, allowing chat sessions to be established between your staff and your customers. So if you don't have any type of IM or chat utility, um, this certainly would bring um, a, a great set of um, functionality to your organization. And even if you do have an IM solution, um, there are, it's you can consider this a collaboration tool. One of the ways that you might view Chatter is, is almost like Facebook for IT in the sense that if I want to follow, a, for example, a specific change record, if I want to follow a specific application, I can see any and all updates as it relates to that record within the configuration management database or just the, uh, the, the, the database in Remedy Force. Also, we have uh, the, the real-time analytics and reporting engine. Uh, everybody I show this to gets really excited because, uh, let's face it, if, if you can't get data out of the system, uh, what's the purpose in having some type of a of, of service management s solution? So um, it, it's designed to help us improve and it, our processes and, and become more efficient. And so it's really imperative that we have an easy method of, of extracting that data. And the reporting engine in Remedy Force is, is actually very intuitive, very uh, feature rich and, and, and flexible. So other things, as we get into the traditional IT service management uh, functionality, as you would expect, any 
any contemporary service management solution, incident management to record those uh, issues and errors that customers might experience, problems so that we can be more proactive and, and identify root cause analysis and, and the most appropriate resolutions, and then change management. Uh, once we've identified those problems, we need a means of correcting them and documenting the changes that we're making to our environment and make sure that we go through the appropriate risk and impact analysis so that we don't cause more damage within the organization. So um, these are all modules and uh, that are included with with Remedy Force. In addition to that, we have configuration management, the configuration management database, so we understand what our infrastructure looks like. And then uh, we also added quite a bit of functionality around the asset inventory management. So one of the things that we did in Winter 13 is we created a very tight integration with the Footprints Asset Core product. So for those of you that maybe are not as familiar with that, Footprints Asset Core is a BMC solution that was part of the numerical acquisition, and it is an endpoint management solution, allowing us to inventory our network, allowing us to remote into those endpoints and, and control those desktops as necessary, uh, software distribution, uh, OS deployment, as well as patch management. So there's quite a bit of functionality that that introduces when you tie Remedy Force with the Footprints Asset Core. And so BMC um, you know, really rounded out their, their solution to customers by creating this very tight integration with Footprints Asset Core. Then following that up, we also have the release management. This is one of those, uh, it is a newer discipline for the Footprints product. It is absolutely a new module, but it's something that, um, you know, that, that is certainly not new to the world of those of you that, that might be um, in the world of ITIL or simply wanting to do project management. I, I typically think, or I think most customers equate release management to a form of project management, if you will. And basically what release management allows us to do is to coordinate and correlate a, a number of changes that we might be making in our environment to support a new service, the modification to an existing service, and we can bundle those essentially in a release and oversee all, that those, all of those changes and make sure that uh, they are coordinated um, effectively. And then, uh, obviously, we are, um, there was a number of changes because of, one, the new modules, but there was also some updates to the processes that were introduced uh, with Remedy Force in, in terms of the alignability process model. So for those of you that may be familiar with that, uh, a number of updates have been made to the process model uh, to incorporate service request management uh, as well as the release management functionality. So again, these are all things that are included core right out of the box. So I don't I won't spend too much more time since I've already discussed this, but again, just as an overview, some new functionality that was introduced, chatter for clients, uh, that's a that was something that's, you know, been long awaited for those customers uh, using Remedy Force and Chatter. Uh, self service, the ability to have multiple themes to self service uh, uh, pay um, portals, should I say. Uh, in addition to that, um, we have different browse options and search options that were introduced in Winter 13. We also have um, a new functionality as it relates to how we can assign records to different queues or staff members uh, and, and being able to record historical information in terms of past assignments and, and the group that it's that the groups that the records are associated with. We also introduced the category tree structure that uh, some of you were um, asking for. Uh, again, updates to the APM process, release management, and uh, Footprints Asset Core. There's, you know, I think the biggest thing in short to, to note here is that there were over 30 requests and enhancements to Remedy Force in this last release, which uh, is, is quite significant. And, and quite frankly, I've never seen any product that BMC has had that they are able to introduce new functionality and capabilities and address issues um, as quickly as they do with Remedy Force. And I think 
quite frankly, a lot of that has to do with the platform in which they have developed on, the Force.com platform. And so um, I think, you know, any of you that may be existing Remedy Force customers or even those of you that may be considering Remedy Force, you can certainly feel confident that uh, BMC is, is doing quite a bit of development and they're, they're um, releasing new features and functionality, um, not only that they see needed being a, a visionary, but more importantly, the features that customers are asking for. So with that, let's give you a little bit more of an overview of release management. Um, and we're going to see, again, some of this in, in the demonstration. But because this is a brand new model module, I think it's important that you understand that essentially, again, release management allows us to orchestrate uh, a number of changes that we might be implementing in an environment. So, you know, we commonly think of releases uh, from the perspective of application development. But quite frankly, release management is not just for app development. Um, we can have a release for, uh, a, for example, a new ERP solution that we might be introducing to an enterprise or a new financial system. And if you can think about introducing that type of a, a system and application, we've got a number of changes that are going to have to happen. We're going to have to set up hardware. We're going to have to make network configuration changes. We have to have redundant systems in the background. So the number of changes that are associated with that type of project uh, is, is can be overwhelming. And one of the challenges was, was, well, how I've got to track all of these individual changes, but there was really no way to coordinate those all in a single record. And that's exactly what release management does. As you can see here, we've got some examples of the calendar view that are available because of release management. There's also the release manifest, which allows us to define the order in which these tasks need to occur in their current status. And we can export that information, put that in project plans as needed, you know, all those types of things. So again, we, uh, the plan is, uh, is to, to give you a demonstration of that uh, later um, as we go through the uh, demonstration. <clears throat> so one other thing I want to point out, and, and again, we've touched on this earlier, was the, um, was the, introdu the introduction of the asset core to uh, customers or to BMC, and specifically the integration that BMC did with Remedy Force and Asset Core. So if you can imagine, I know the image is a little bit small, but imagine a customer going to a self-service page and at this point wanting to request an application to be deployed on their desktop. Well, that's exactly what we can do with the service catalog capability, but think of all the manual steps that would have to occur after that. Well, now that we have the ability to deploy applications, we can really automate that process. So once that request has been made from the customer, obviously we will be able to see that within Remedy Force as a staff member, and that record may <clears throat> automatically be submitted for approval to the appropriate individuals or teams, uh, depending upon what our approval process is. So again, we're leveraging the approval engine within Force.com. And once that approval has been made, from there, if I can get my arrows right here, but uh, once that approval has been made, we can then deploy that software based upon uh, logic that we can define with the workflow engine. And so from there, software can be deployed to the appropriate endpoint. And at that point, now that we have deployed the application and we're able to inventory, we can now run the necessary reports to understand what the usage and compliance of those applications are. And so again, uh, this, this introduces a tremendous amount of automation that otherwise you really did not have, uh, and, and that's all due to the integration with the Footprints Asset Core product. And so again, we'll take a closer look at that later on.